My name is Eddie Tofbig. I'm Head of Technical Analysis and Senior Markets Analyst at ADM Investor Service International Limited. Here is your daily technical analysis of Stock Index Futures. I'll start with UK FTSE Futures. A bullish opening white Marabozo yesterday that significantly broke up through the June to date downtrend currently at 69.73 closing over it and higher than the time back on Thursday of last week. Prices managed to pierce but not close over the overhead flatlining short medium moving average currently at 70.24. The question now is whether the market will leave yesterday's close over the downtrend isolated like it did last Thursday. So far today not a lower open but then a seemingly strong move higher through the short medium moving average and just up over the lesser recent Fibonacci line at 70.33. The next overhead resistance is the July high at 71.02. will again be very important where the market closes tonight either above or below the downtrend and maybe even over the short medium moving average. German DAX futures a second consecutive indecisive pattern yesterday. This time it was an indecisive spinning top. What was interesting about yesterday's action was how the market seemed to push up and untangle itself from the mess that is the short medium moving average currently 15,569 and the short moving average currently 15,555. Now prices did indeed rise significantly yesterday over the 50% projected Fibonacci line at 15,629. However they failed to stay up there and ended up actually down on the day's open. Meanwhile below we now have the medium moving average rising up into the frame currently at 15.360. Now, I've noted for a few weeks now the precious nature of this market. It seemed to have calmed down for a while as the long term implications and reappraisal from May's monthly key reversal up seeps through July's or throughout July's action. Well I'm not been so sure last week um, and this has rolled over into this week. We seem to be starting to have indecisive thoughts and actions here again. You may accuse me of being overly cautious but I think that may be the best way with this market at this time. So far today a reactionary opened lower today below both the short medium and short moving averages. However prices have stabilized and have once again moved over both moving averages but not as high as yesterday's main action. It seems the market still yearns for the comfort of indecision around the short and short medium moving average congestion area. This is yet further examples of the precious behavior of this market. USC mini S&P futures. A bearish engulfing pattern yesterday. It seems the topside resistance at last week's all time high of 44.22 and a half is enough for the moment or at least a warning. The market closed just below the rising short moving average currently at 43.84 though not as far as anything else such as the lesser nearby Fibonacci level at 43.68 or the 50% projected Fibonacci level below around about 43.43. This short moving average along with the lesser projected Fibonacci level 43.68 helped hold up the market back last week. So please don't dismiss them out of hand. Overhead we still have the 100% projected Fibonacci level at 44.48. Finally we might, just might, be starting to form a new rising wedge pattern either over mid-June or early July. It's early on in this as yet which is why I'm not sure. So far today a higher open on the short moving average and a move higher up towards the very recent congestion in the 43.94 area. Right now we're looking like we might make a bullish harami possibly but it is early as yet. French CAC 40 futures. A fourth bullish and much higher white soldier yesterday. This seems to be a suitable follow on to the proposed if and complete shooting star type 2 bullish pattern that formed last Thursday and Friday. Okay so the move up was quite aggressive as prices punched up through both the 100% projected Fibonacci line at 66.80 and the recent high at 66.87. However prices failed to maintain the strength and we ended up closing just underneath both of them. Nevertheless a significant high and high close yesterday. In a bit bigger picture this was another good move towards target X on the upside. 
that's for the June to July descending expanding wedge pattern is in the 68-65 area. Beyond that we have a 50% projected Fibonacci line at 69.12. I've also drawn a new May to July bullish Andrews pitchfork as the middle time currently 66.68 is showing some promise. So far today a slightly higher open thus making a strong push up through both the 100% projected Fibonacci line and the recent high. Thank you for listening. This short version of broadcast gives essential market patterns and consequences. Please be aware of the risk disclaimer posted with this broadcast. Copyright Eddie Topic and ADM Investor Services International Limited. Here comes the final bit. <laughs>